All right, we're coming out to see Miley's puppies. She had them out in the kennel last night. Hold on here. So you folks at home get to see. This is our whelping box. There's a towel over the door to kind of keep the chill out. And I've got a little heat lamp. I know they're Arctic dogs and they can be born at you know sub-zero temperatures, but I still worry, so I keep a heat lamp on. It's not on them close, so it doesn't overcook them. But they're in here. Hi, Miley. There's the puppies. Let's see if we can get a... Miley, can we see your puppies? There's a little one there. There you go. Kind of hard to see because she sits on their heads. It's kind of hard to get good video because I don't really have a wide lens on this. Let me see if I can get... There's nine of them in there. I think we got four boys and five girls. I, it was hard to get them all counted. It was They're squirming and she didn't like me picking them up. So I just kind of let them be. Today's Friday, March 2nd. They were born March 1st. I left Ellensburg at about 6 p.m. Called Pam and there were no pups. At 7.30 when I got home, she had six. And despite that, I built this uh, nice little whelping box for her. Uh, she chose to have them outside in the dirt. So she dug a little hole right here. And they were born right there in the dirt. I came home and there were pups in the dirt. So we checked them out and popped them in the house. And I popped them in the whelping box and put her in there. And I put that little door, or that little towel over the door to kind of keep the cold out. <laughs> She gets in there and it keeps them pretty warm. I opened it up uh, last night and they were actually steaming. They were still wet from being born and and whatnot. There was one pup that was kind of didn't look like it was doing really well, kind of off by itself and cold. And so I brought him in and brought her in and sat her next to the heater vent in the house and sat there for with her for about 15 minutes and let her warm up and she kind of perked up. And so I thought, well, put her back out and she started latching on and. She's out here this morning doing well, so that was cool. We're a little worried about that, but these dogs are pretty resilient. <clears throat> we'll get more video as they grow and the days and the weeks ahead. Comment your uncle, what do you think? What do you think? I think if you went in there, you'd get your butt kicked right now. She's pretty protective. She's a good mama. Alrighty, that's all for now.